Hi, this is Aprajita from Avaya Serviceability Engineering team. In this video, we will learn how to exchange access to certificates between application server which is having Avaya Aura Orchestration Designer, a Dialog Designer installed on it and the EPM server. We will begin our exercise by logging into Avaya Aura Orchestration Designer's Web Administration Access and the URL to access that would be http colon slash slash application server's IP address colon port number slash runtime config. So once you see this interface, log in here with DD admin user and its respective password. Click login. This is the home page of Avaya Aura Orchestration Designer application server. Here we have to go to certificates. Once you click this, it opens up the certificates web page on the web administration. If you look here, you have to make sure that you are using the same trust stored path as represented in this window. It should be slash opt slash app server slash tomcat slash tomcat slash con slash my trust store. If it is not same in your session, change it. And it down where you see the certificates listing, ensure that there are no other certificates apart from app server certificate available on the system. If there is any other certificate, remove them using delete command. Now let's move ahead and try to fetch access to certificate by clicking on option fetch. This opens up fetch certificate web page. Enter the name as access to for the new certificate. And the location would be https colon slash slash IP address of the EPM server slash access to. Click on continue. So we've got a confirmation here that access to certificate has been imported on this server. Now the next step is to do a similar activity on the EPM server as well. So we'll open the web administration access for experience portal manager now. Log in here with admin user and its password. Click on login. On this home page, we have to go to certificates residing under security. Click on certificates here. This opens up certificates web page. We have to go to trusted certificates tab here. If you look down, we have only one certificate under trusted certificates, which is app server. Now we have to import access to certificate by clicking on import. Give name as access to. Type will remain as application and the location would be same as https colon slash slash IP address of the EPM server slash access to. Click on continue. And you see the access to certificate displayed here. Click save to save the certificate. Now you see a warning displayed on top of this page which says that you have to restart the MPP server before the changes will take effect on the system. Let's go to MPP manager residing under system management now to restart the MPP service. This page shows the list of the MPP servers configured for this EPM server. We have only one MPP so click this and hit option restart. It will restart the MPP server in the background. Let's go to application server under system management because application server also needs a restart. Choose this application server. You can only issue stop command right now because it is already running. Click on stop. You see a confirmation message asking for if you really want to stop the application server. Click yes. It will stop the application server now. So now the state is reflected as stop for this application server. 
choose the application server again and click on start to bring the application server up and running again. You get another confirmation message, click OK. Let's go back to MPP Manager under System Management to see the status of the MPP. Now the state has been refreshed as stopping. Refresh again. So it's been stopped. Now we have to wait for the time when the local MPP comes up and running again. The page gets automatically refreshed but you may choose to refresh the web page as and when you want. Now the local MPP state is showing running. So which means the MPP has also been restarted. Now the changes would be effective on application server as well as on the EPM server. So this completes our demonstration. I hope this information was helpful. Thank you for watching. For any questions, comments and feedback, please write to mentor at avaya.com or follow us on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. Thank you for choosing Avaya.